Hi, I'm Jeremiah, the Facility Operations Manager here at Paws Dog Daycare. And how you doing? I'm Richard Guerrero, the founder of Paws Dog Daycare. We're here today to teach you about them. Well, we're going to talk about uh, how to set prices for your dog daycare. Um, obviously, you can't just open your dog daycare and say, I want to charge 50 bucks a dog because there's a lot of factors that are going to dictate uh, whether you're actually going to be successful in your business um, as well as if you're going to be profitable. Um, I, I would say one of the first things you want to do is figure out what your neighbors are doing. If there's a dog daycare 10 miles down the road or even right next door to you, if they're charging, you know, say $25 per dog, um, you know, you don't want to go out charging $35 a head. You want to be competitive uh, as far as uh, pricing goes um, and also your demographics. Uh, like here at PAWS, how did you, uh, in, in a quick nutshell, um, calculate the demographics on what our area could sustain? So there's a long formula that's actually, if you, if you go to the website and you, if you click on the link at the bottom of the manual, the manual is there for your website, www.pawsdogdaycare.com. There's a long formula that that I created to help you determine, or to use as a guide to determine what you can charge in your area. Uh, but the most important thing is that you're going to need to charge enough to stay in business, enough to be profitable. I mean, there's no point on getting in this business if you're not going to make anything, because you can sit at home on your couch and make no dollars. And it's a lot easier than, than running a, a large-scale doggy daycare boarding and grooming facility uh, day to day. Uh, would be the most important thing is the amount of money your area has, I mean, and what the, I mean, if you're in a fairly affluent area, you'll be able to charge, I mean, a, a decent rate for your services. But if you chose through finding a location you built in a rather poor area, then you are obviously not going to be able to charge as much for your services. And it's also going to be based on your competition. Uh, you need to charge a rate that's in line with what your competition charges based on the services that they offer and the services that you offer. Don't go into it trying to be the discount doggy daycare because people have a preconceived notion of you get what you pay for. Uh, so if the doggy daycare two miles down the road is charging 25 and you open up deciding that you'll charge five or 10, uh, people will innately wonder what's wrong with your facility or, or why is your facility so much cheaper than, than the facilities around you. Don't be afraid to charge uh, what you deserve and, 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 and you know what the service is worth. Yeah, and I think some of the things that people could um, insinuate that is going on if you're charging a considerable amount less. There's nothing wrong with being competitive and being a couple of dollars less, um, but I think people would start to insinuate you don't have enough people in your facility. Right. Uh, your, um, your products and services aren't as uh, good as the people. Prestigious pe or, uh, or whatever. Right, and the people so down the street. Um, but also, on the other hand, I don't think that you want to open a dog daycare providing solely dog daycare and the place down the street's doing dog daycare, grooming and boarding because all your typical person is going to think is, well, they're just dog daycare, but if I take my dog to this other dog daycare down the street, they can groom them during the day, they can keep them overnight if I have to go out of town on emergency and that sort of thing. Right, they can train them, I can buy my dog food there. And we'll cover all that in the next video, which is going to be adding additional income to your dog daycare through other services. Uh, once again, if you want all this information is available, the manual is free, it's printed online. Uh, if you'd like to look at it, go to www.pawsdogdaycare. In the left-hand corner, you'll see uh, a little image that says, Start Your Own Dog Daycare. Click on that. They'll take the business services on it, and all this information is there. Once again, thank you and have a great day.